What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of I Have No Idea What's Going On With My Life. I'm your host, Hey Yellowfellow, and judging from the title of today's video, you know what's about to happen. Let's get it, roll the intro. They call me yellow cause the paint is banana, the clip is banana, I'm going bananas. Look, boy you a bitch, get your phones together. Look at him, didn't f*** with us when we was down. Now we coming up together. You can stay in the back cause all up on track, we running it up together. You said we would flop, now the gang at the top, and we don't give a fuck together. So as you guys know, if you're familiar with my videos, I am not a clickbaiter. So that means that there are a couple issues wrong with the charger, but uh, we're gonna figure it out today, hopefully. Um, everything's about to close. It's like 5.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cracking. But before we do that, I got a couple things I wanna show you guys inside. Come with me. Real quick, I just wanna show everybody my setup. I have a very messy uh, camera desk here, but that's not what I wanna show you guys. I got a new chair, by the way, because you guys know I put a lot of time into my editing and, uh, you know, I got to have good equipment and the uh, kitchen chair I was using, aka this thing, was killing the shit out of my back, so I did get this chair. Fan art. So I'm starting up this little home office in here. As you can see, like, I got to clean the room out and everything, but um, I'm starting to put stuff up on the wall. So if you guys want to make me something and send it to me, I encourage you guys to do that because I will be throwing it on this wall and then hopefully if I end up making videos inside that I'll have a background rather than using my green screen all the time, I could just uh, showcase all the art you guys sent me. And just um, a little bit sneak peek on the white, like what I got going on in some of my projects. I'm setting up a home office, but um, you know, boring shit, boring shit. I just wanted to show you. I, I don't know, I'm gonna overshare. Let's get the f out of here. Um, let's go figure out what's wrong with this car. So you guys know I always start the video out with a cold start. However, there's a little bit of a problem. Um, if you guys didn't see the video where I raced the uh, 392, you definitely need to go check that out. I believe that's going to be my last video at the time of uploading this. We were playing around a little bit before I recorded the video and I ended up getting a check engine light while we were doing some light pulls on the freeway. I'm not sure what happened. It's maybe a sensor since it's not flashing. It shouldn't be a big deal. I'm about to go up here and diagnose it. Um, but in, you know, if you know, uh, once you have a check engine light, your car won't start. So I am going to cold start it right now, but it's not going to run for very long, but that's okay. So right now I'm headed to O'Reilly Auto Parts. The only reason I use them is because I don't have an OBD2 scanner, but um, you know, whatever. They're gonna diagnose it for me. They're not gonna diagnose it, but they're gonna see uh, what I need. I'm gonna go ahead and call Mopar Mike, the guy who built my car, ask him what the code is and ask him how we can fix it. So without much more talking, I'll see you guys when we get there, let's go. There she is, damn it. Man, you gotta love when that Uconnect freezes up. Holy shit, I hate this thing, man. That shit pisses me off so bad. As you guys can see, I'm clearly moving, and uh, my Uconnect is still like I'm in reverse. Who cares, man? The lights don't work on the front right now. The Uconnect's broken. The car's dirty as shit. I got a check engine light. I got low fuel. Man, I... <laughs> oh, man, people are gonna hate me. I'm so sorry, guys. So we are pulling into O'Reilly right now, and my Uconnect is still currently in the restroom. So uh, I'm gonna give it some privacy so it can uh, finish up pooping. Sheesh, I guess uh, nobody is in uh, quarantine, oh my God. What the hell happened here? Everybody got a damn check engine light. I love backing in with no backup camera. It's my favorite. I'm gonna cut the car off real quick. I just got the scanner. Bingo. Let's plug this bad boy up in here. I'm not nervous whatsoever. Cylinder seven and eight, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine, dude, if it's something really bad. Oh my god, okay, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Shit. This is like plugging in the phone charger under your bed. Oh, here we go, here we go. Communicating with the vehicle. I need to get me one of these. I wish they weren't so damn expensive. I don't get codes all the time, though, I guess, which is a good thing, though. I don't know if this is right, but it seems to have given me 11 codes. Okay, so look, here's what I'm gonna do to make this easy. I'm gonna call Mopar Mike real quick, the guy who built and tuned my car, and I'm gonna tell him about these codes, and uh, we're gonna see what happened real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the car off. Hey, dude, so I don't, I'm not sure if this is right. It, it says it through 11 codes. Probably not. Yeah, I know, but okay. It's probably reading a lot of codes that I've deleted, you know, that the check engine light doesn't come on for. Oh, okay, well, let me read them to you. You ready for the codes? Okay, okay and then and Take then a picture of that text me because I'm like literally one foot in the shower Yeah, yeah, okay, so so I'll take a picture of every single one of the codes and send them to you yeah, So and then I'll look them up on my end and um, Try to determine 
which one is the culprit. Yeah, because I got random multiple misfire detected. Yeah, of course, you got a camshaft. Nah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna take a picture of every one of these codes and send it over to you, and uh, you can kind of see what's maybe doing it and what I need to maybe replace or fix or change. Yeah, absolutely. All right, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. <laughs> Dude, that is the homie right there. All right, so I'm gonna take my dirty ass car to the gas station to get some gas, and uh, I'm gonna start recording again as soon as Mopar Mike calls me, and uh, you know we can try to figure out what's going on here. So I'll let you guys know what's up. So I'm getting that premium black edition, <laughs> 93 for 199.99999. What are you guys' gas prices? Let's see how many gallons we can get for how much money. So guys, I say I don't condone energy drinks, but uh, you know I'm kind of a hypocrite at sometimes, and uh, every once in a while when I need to pick me up, I choose Bang. Um, I mean, maybe I'm a basic bitch, but what kind of energy drinks do you guys prefer? Um, I don't know, I just like the taste of them. I like that champagne. <laughs> Dude, this video is so boring. I'm sorry, guys. At the time I'm shooting this, real quick, I am so close to 4,000 subscribers. So at the time of recording this, I'm at like 3.93. Smash that shit. Get me to 4K. I got something crazy as shit planned. You know, I probably might have, you know, 4,000 at the time this video goes live. I'm not sure, but it'd be great if you guys could do that. Okay, beautiful. Same shit, different day. I'm actually going to a shop in Houston called Tires R Us, and uh, I guess I'm gonna be doing like an interview part on there, I'm not sure yet. Sorry I'm out of energy, I just got back from work, <laughs> so I'm beat, but let's get it. See that bad boy right there? <laughs> you gotta love it. I'm not worried about it, let's get the fuck out of here. I see you girl, I ain't mad at them jeans, they working for you. All right guys, real quick, we're at Tires R Us in Houston, so quick shout out to these guys. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a video, but I'm here with Paul. Uh, are What's you the man? owner? Paul Whiskey, no, I'm not the owner. I pretend I'm the owner all day, all hey, the time. He actually. certainly has the mentality of an owner. He's definitely a boss around here. I can tell the way he runs things. The truth is, I actually do nothing worth anything around here, but people <laughs> love it, so hey, come I, through. I really wish I would've had my car clean for this video, but I feel like I'm on Vice. Uh, they got a nice little channel over there. I think they got around 6,000 subs at the time of recording this, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop their channel right here and definitely will be in the links in the description so you guys can go check them out. Them into it, we talked them into it. Here we go, baby. Come on, yeah, let's go, let's go, baby. We're doing half the tires today, let's right? Go, yeah, let's half go, the tires, half. Is a little bit of. We get No get my car.
have more of this in a detailed video over at this craziness we just had at Tires RS. But look, guys, I now hold the record for the longest black streaks, okay? Was that good, man? What'd you man. think? Right now, yep, yeah, that's you right there, baby. Hey, man, shout out to my boy, it's OC, What's aka up, Waldo. I'm gonna link his stuff right here, as always. For this guy, man, he just hit me up to come out here, and I'm having a good ass time. These guys are crazy. And look, you're not gonna wanna miss my next video because what happened here today is like, I told you I was gonna pull up and hang out with these guys, but some crazy shit happened and it's gonna be an entire like video topic after this. Um, what's gonna be happening in the Daytona? And uh, these guys hooked me up over here, so I'm gonna wrap up what happened with the, the check engine light and everything. Yes, I did do this with the check engine light. So kind of a crazy ass video, but um, I don't know, this video was all over the place. Man, shout out to the guys at Tires R Us. This place is so crazy and uh, definitely got some new people to hang out with here. So. I'm gonna go pick up some merch real quick. I'm gonna head back to the house. I know this video is all over the place. Forgive me for this video, but I promise, I promise this one's gonna be worth it. This kind of threw off my plans for the video today, but I'm still gonna include it in here because this was so dope. But so the guy I called earlier in the video, um, he basically texted me. He didn't call me, and he told me that I was gonna have to get an HP tuners pod if he was gonna clear the code. It's nothing dangerous or anything like that. I'm gonna see if anybody around me has a pod that he can remotely tune it out. Um, but it's just one of the codes that he cleared that keeps popping up. I'm I'm gonna try the battery method again and see if we can get it to go away. It's not hurting the car in any way. It's just, um, you know, I can't remote start my car or anything like that right now. So it's really annoying, but um, it's nothing serious. So much happened in this video. <laughs> so I'm turning it into a vlog now. It's officially a vlog. This shit's all over the place. But um, if you guys rock with the content, you guys love what I'm doing. I appreciate you guys so much. So I got a shirt for my daughter. I got a shit ton of stickers in case you guys want one. They're not all yellow. You can't see back there. They're multiple colors. But um, I'm putting those back there. Yes, my LEDs flickering, I know. And uh, we're switching up my logo right here, my little IG and YouTube. This vlog was whack as shit, but I hope you stay to the end. If you didn't, then your mom's a hoe. Your mom's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed it and you stayed to the end, um, Ooh. my Ooh. hang on. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that fat ass like button. If you thought my content was sexy, be sure to hit that eggplant. You know, drop that uh, damn emoji down in the comments. <laughs> if if you want to see the crazy next crazy ass video, be sure to hit that red rectangle. Um, with that being said, I'm your host, Yellow Fella. Oh, by the way, if you don't subscribe, your mom's a hoe. All right, take it easy. Peace. See you in the next one.